Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. This is the big preparation vlog for my new bike tour. So the departure date is nine days away from today. I'm gonna depart on June 3rd. Some interesting things. Uh, I'm not gonna travel with my bike. There's actually a friend of my dad that I spoke to on his 50th birthday. He has a company that transports stuff to uh, Riga, Latvia actually. And he's able to transport my bike and probably also uh, two of the bags already to Riga, Latvia for free, which is amazing. So I don't have to worry about the bike. That would be really, really awesome actually. I have to drag the bike along when I'm going on this public transportation thing. If you followed me on the first part of the bike tour, you know, getting home was really hard. There were some buses that didn't allow bikes, some did, but it depended on how many people would go on this bus ride. So right now I can just take my bus don't have to worry about anything. I'll just bring my new backpack uh, with myself and the rest will just go with uh, this guy and uh, uh, in his company. So that's a good thing. So yeah, this vlog is just gonna be some small clips over the next nine days when I really prepare for my next bike tour. Part of that is today, I'm going to Tim Cook. I made a vlog with him, I think about three-ish weeks ago. We went on a little ride together in this area. He lost his drone, unfortunately, so he got my drone. Right now I'm gonna meet him in The Hague. I'm gonna cycle there and then he's gonna give uh, me back my drone and I have his drone bag. So I'll give him the drone bag without a drone, unfortunately. But at least he could use my drone over, over the last three weeks when he was touring around Holland. I didn't really need it and he was making an epic trip so he could use my drone to make some epic footage of that trip. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. It's beautiful outside, sunny, warm. So let's go. We're so close. How are ya? Very good. I just met up with Tim again. He's had a great trip, good weather. There was actually one tornado he encountered and that's like very rare for uh, Europe, let alone Holland. He was actually not far, it was, it was in the news. I saw it in the news and he was actually three kilometers from that tornado, crazy. But yeah, he has had a good trip. Uh, I got my drone back. Didn't lose it, luckily, so that's good. And I think the next update will be when I'm gonna try to fit all of the stuff that I'm gonna bring on the bike. Yeah, so I thought this was gonna be, you know, a gradual vlog, maybe like eight days till the departure and then six days till the departure. But right now it's June 1st, so departure is in two days. And I still haven't loaded the bike up. Well, I actually have tried once yesterday when it wasn't raining now it's it's dripping but yesterday i didn't vlog it i didn't vlog that i was cycling with my new setup uh so that's what i'm gonna do now in the rain so so yeah, you're gonna see that and actually my bike's gonna be picked up tonight already so that is quite uh, a thing so right now everything is here it's still a mess uh, i haven't really uh, made my whole setup yet but this is gonna be about it uh, I do have some clothes here that I'm gonna bring. It's not going with this guy on transport because you know in that week when I get to Riga I still need some clothes and stuff to for myself. So I am gonna bring my backpack. So this is the uh, Thule backpack right here with my laptop and stuff. So I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm gonna pack all of this stuff, load it on the bike and see how it fares. So this is it. This is all of the stuff that I'm gonna bring. Looks a lot smaller actually. Just a lot, a lot more compact. So this is kind of the setup for my, for my backpack. It's not raining right now, but it could be at any moment. The only weak point is here. You can see the inside, but I have another uh, garbage bag which I can put the other way. So then that's, that's covered. But yeah, so this is the back right here. I don't know about these cages, I might leave them on, I might put them off, depends. It's just like riding without any, any bags. You know what the thing was, the front panniers really made it wobble a little bit more. So that's, that's gone and it's, it's, it's perfect, I love it. Hey guys, 
one day before departure day. Today is Saturday, 2nd of June. I still have a lot to do. But yeah, tomorrow morning at around 9 o'clock, I think, my friend's gonna pick me up. We're gonna drive to Cologne in Germany, just just not, not too far across the border. From there, I have a bus ticket for like pretty cheap, like 20, 22 bucks, all the way to Berlin. So by tomorrow night, I'll be in Berlin. That'll be the next vlog, but I still have some preparations to do before I can leave. And the first thing is ditching my old bike. So unfortunately my newspaper delivery bike died yesterday morning. See, flat tire. And this thing got loose. There's like a hook here or like a like a little screw that kept this in place, but now it's uh it's loose. So it's it's still on there, it still works, but it's it's pretty uh pretty bad. So yeah, that was yesterday morning and this morning I actually had to do the newspapers again, which I did on this bike. That's an even older bike, it was like way back in our shed right here. Like we have a, a few bikes in there as well, but it was like way at the back. And I used that to do my newspapers, but it doesn't have that, like that nice... See that nice basket right there? Like this thing doesn't have it, and it really sucks. So yeah, this morning I had to do the papers as well. It's really crazy, you know, they, they, they just don't have enough deliverers. So I had to help them out again, but I already said like Monday I'm not gonna show up there, you know? My boss knows that, so that's, that's pretty much handled off. I did my best, I did the best I could. It's quite a bit of work this morning, especially with that awful bike. But yeah, I mean, if you plan to come to the Netherlands, stay here for a little bit if you like cycling. Uh, I know that Joseph from the Run Good Road, he loves cycling and he really thinks that my job right here, the newspaper job, he finds that the dream because it's just, you know, cycling for work, you know, he's kind of like, that's that's awesome. Well, it's not that great. Um, or at least I, I don't find it the best job there is. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's over, actually, so. Anyway, I'm gonna bring this back to the um, bike shop where it came from. Maybe they're gonna give me like 10 bucks for it, <laughs> I hope. Otherwise it's gonna go to the dump. There's like a dump pretty close to, to the bike shop and I'm gonna bring it there. So then it's goodbye to this bike. Oh, I had some great memories. This bike was like six years old and I bought it used so it's even older than that. So it's really, it's time to go. How much money do you think this thing will bring up? My guess is, I think five bucks. Five bucks would be my guess. I took the basket off because a colleague of mine or uh, another newspaper deliverer wants to have it. So. so I'm probably gonna give it to him and he can use it. And I have no idea where this bike's gonna end up, but yeah. Yeah, now it's starting to sink in a little bit. I'm walking past some places that I know from way back in the day. Like on this street I uh, rode my recumbent bike. That was the first shot of me riding past the camera on my recumbent bike and I had my camera like right about here and I had to go uh, ride and then make a turn but I couldn't turn on the same street so I had to go past this way right here and then get back on this street right here and then pick up the camera. It was, it was awful. And this is where I did the newspapers, all the way here. This street, and then all the way over here. Yeah, frankly, I don't think that I've lost that much of my uh, stamina because I once calculated how much I cycled every morning to do the newspapers. And it was about 16 kilometers every morning. And I got up at like four o'clock and I was on, on this bike, which is pretty heavy to, to uh, push forward at like five o'clock so yeah that was quite a just kind of quite a good workout and you get paid for it so it wasn't that bad but no i'm i'm very excited to to leave for this for this trip right now the past like six months i i didn't really feel like i was i was useful here you know like this wasn't really my place anymore even though you know this is the my home it's place of birth and stuff but i i used to be going to school and I had everything here, but now it's all, all on the road. That's where I have to make it happen, so I'm really looking forward to, to doing that again, so yeah. Anyway, we're almost there, almost. So yeah, I went to the bike shop and uh, they accepted the bike from me 
for exactly zero bucks. I mean, it saves me another walk to the dump, so I was like, you know, good deal, right? <laughs> so anyway, I'm uh, making my way back home then. Gonna get some lunch. Got a couple of things to do in the afternoon, pack my bag. My uh, backpack that I'm gonna bring uh, on the first, like, one and a half weeks. And uh, yeah, should be good. Hey guys, today's the day. It's zero days until departure. My friend will be here in like half an hour, which means that preparation is done. I'm not completely done while I'm fitting everything in my bags right now. Probably isn't gonna fit all in that one bag. I'm probably gonna bring two bags, but uh, you'll see that in the next vlog. Yeah, and all that's left to do is say goodbye to my room. My awesome room has been very great. Bye. My view, this is my view. Beautiful Dutch view, I think. And now it's time to say goodbye.